General Hospital Rewind, everything you need to know about John Jagger Cates. The character of John Jagger Cates made a surprise comeback to Port Charles on February 2nd with a new actor, Adam Harrington, in the role. Here's a complete storyline history of Jagger, as originally played by Antonio Sabato Jr. Orphaned high school dropout John Jagger, Cates was introduced in 1992 when he and two of his Anier Duel pals broke into Kelly's intending to rob it. One of the young men pulled a gun on Ruby and fired, but Jagger pushed Ruby out of harm's way, taking a bullet to the neck in the process. He recovered at General Hospital under Tony Jones's care. The PCPD threatened to arrest him if he didn't identify the other toughs who'd taken part in the incident at Kelly's. Meanwhile, his so-called friends threatened that he'd be dead meat if Jagger incriminated them. Desperate, Jagger tried to bust out of the hospital, and a beautiful young hospital volunteer, Karen Wexler, intercepted him. She helped him through his fear of heights on the hospital rooftop, depositing him safely back into his room. Jagger was released from the hospital, and he caught a lucky break when Ruby refused to testify against him. Meanwhile, the other young men were sent off to prison. Bill Eckert took pity on the homeless Jagger and hired him to work on the waterfront renovation, while Ruby agreed to let him live in the room above Kelly's. When Karen got a job there, the chemistry between her and Jagger was obvious, but Karen fought her growing feelings as she was dating Jason Cordemain. Jagger picked up extra cash tuning up the Cordemain's boat so that Jason could take Karen out on the water, but wound up hitting his head and losing consciousness. It was only after Jason and Karen had set sail that Jason discovered his potential romantic rival was on board. When a storm hit, the trip ended up stranded on a deserted island, which proved to be a bonding experience. Island time, Jason, Steve Burton, Karen, Carrie Shane, and Jagger battled the elements, and Cal, while stranded together. While Jason and Karen's family stressed out over their whereabouts, Jason, Karen, and Jagger encountered ex-con Cal on the island. Jagger rushed to action to stop Cal, who was poised to rape Karen at the top of a cliff. Cal plummeted to his presumed death, and Jagger, Jason, and Karen made a pact never to discuss what had happened. The teens were rescued, but their woes had just begun, as a very much alive Cal blackmailed them, leading to a dramatic showdown where the cops captured Cal. That fall, Jagger enrolled at Port Charles High to continue his education, and classmate Brenda Barrett set her sights on him, even though she picked up on his pull to Karen. Jagger also began to long for the siblings, Mike and Gina, who he'd been separated from for many years. At year's end, he and Brenda started sleeping together early in 1993, Jagger gave Karen a ride on his motorcycle to a college interview. They wound up stranded in a snowstorm, leading them to come clean with one another about their true romantic feelings. She intended to break up with Jason to be with Jagger, but a jealous Brenda took secret snapshots of a nude Karen while she was showering in the girls' locker room and slipped the pictures into the boys' lockers. Her nasty prank devastated Karen, and when Jagger got into a fist fight defending Karen's honor, he was expelled. Jagger observed Jason comforting Karen and decided she was better off with Jason, so he cut things off with Karen in a note and fled town. But he soon realized his grave mistake and returned, showing up at her school Valentine's Day dance and declaring his love. Karen abandoned her date, Jason, and ran off with Jagger. With Karen's encouragement, Jagger tracked down his sister, Gina, and hired Felicia to investigate the whereabouts of his 